Welcome to the most electrifying channel in all entertainment. This is your boy PK. Welcome back, guys. Today we got a lot of PlayStation news to cover, and I'm going to start with the state of play. This is going to be held on Thursday, August 6th, and it looks like they are going to talk more about PS4 and PSVR titles. I'm not sure how I feel about this. I think we should keep the PlayStation train going, but these guys are, and it looks like they might have a few PS5 games, according to what this says, on some some indies and some third parties, but nothing on a PlayStation station no no price no nothing no nothing on the hardware in particular just talking about some of the upcoming games for their psvr and some ps4 titles so i'm not sure why we're talking about playstation 4 when they getting ready to phase that out but hey so it's a month it's, it's going to be a worth a while to take a look at i'm not sure how that's going to go but let's take a look at that and then we can kind of reflect on that later um the second thing i want to talk about is today they posted some um answers to the compatibility of ps4 peripherals so in this article it talks about how can you bring your PlayStation peripherals with you to your PS5. This is what everyone was thinking about. I myself was thinking about the same thing since the Xbox or Microsoft already covered this. Um, so it says, in talks about here are the questions and we'll leave the comments below so it starts with which existing ps4 peripherals accessories will work with ps5 question mark so it says specialty peripherals such as officially licensed racing wheels arcade sticks and flight sticks will work with ps5 games and supported ps4 games that is a key word there it says supported then it says plat the platinum gold wireless headsets as well as third party headsets that connect via USB port or audio jack will work on PS5. It says the DualShock 4 wireless controller and PlayStation officially licensed third party gamepad controllers will work with supported PS4 games, not PS5. And it says both PS Move controllers and PlayStation VR aim controller will work with supported PS VR games on ps5 please note all playstation officially licensed or third-party peripherals accessories may work on ps5 but we recommend checking with the manufacturer to confirm whether a product will work on ps5 and specific titles so they're still giving themselves a little room a wiggle room here to say hey if something doesn't work check with them here's specific questions here will dual shock 4 work with the ps5 games they say no not at all we believe that ps5 games should take advantage of the new capabilities and features we're bringing to the platform including features on dual sense wireless controller so that is a big no for playstation 5 games period they want you to be able to experience uh, whatever the new features have on the new controllers and in a way that makes sense considering that they finally have the upgraded uh, adaptive triggers which is important when you play in shooters I mean the Xbox had this for a while and I think this is important so I, I kind of see why this would make sense it's just a better controller it's, it's a really better upgrade as far as the other features you know as far as the microphone and uh, things like that I'm not really sure if that's that mean you know gimmicks that nintendo done in the past didn't work well for me so i don't see that being a big deal but i do see stuff like the, the triggers being a game changer when it comes to the playstation controllers at least for me personally then it says is the playstation camera or ps4 compatible with ps5 he says yes the camera will work with ps5 for playing supported playstation vr games it will require a PlayStation camera adapter that will be provided at no extra cost to PSVR users. And that's nice that they're gonna give you an adapter at no extra cost. I wonder how long that lasts. And I remember Microsoft doing that for the Kinect at some point when they changed up their hardware. So I wonder how long that lasts. Hopefully they just make it period and just continue to provide that at no extra cost. Hopefully no shipping costs either. So the last bit of news I want to get into is the Avengers. The upcoming Avengers game is it says that the Spider-Man will be DLC in 2021 and it will only be available for PlayStation platform. So no Stadia, no Xbox, and no PC. Only the PlayStation platform will get Spider-Man as a DLC character. Now I'm not sure how I feel about this. 
I understand that Sony has this licensing deal with the Spider-Man movies, but not the games. And I'm not sure about the deal that Marvel made with Sony and, the, and maybe this is part of it. I have no idea. But looking at the fact that Spider-Man is only going to be on this platform, it's, it's not it's not good for gamers. I would say gamers in particular because stuff like this it's one thing to have exclusive games but exclusive content is a problem especially when you have a multi-platform title that is always a bad look because when you think about it this is a multiplayer title it's going to be on stadia xbox and pc and playstation and you're locking a character to the console now i understand business wise it makes sense but for the gamer i don't think so i think this is bad um this is not an exclusive game to the playstation platform this is a multi plat which means that everyone should have the ability to have the same content this was all this always bothered me when it came to destiny as far as how playstation console would get certain content a year one year ahead of the xbox counterpart and by that time that the content will be useless and it seemed like just a bad decision to do that kind of thing it puts a bad taste in everyone's mouth who's a fan of the franchise to make them feel like that their money is not worth anything because they spend in the same amount of money as the PlayStation counterparts but not getting the same content and that's that's just a bad look in my opinion that's just how I see it um I am excited that they bring in Spider-Man I'm not sure why he's DLC question mark I think he should be part of the core game I mean he is basically Marvel's Mickey Mouse they make these choices based on whatever deals they got going on I'm hoping that this turns out well maybe when it came to things like soul caliber like back in the day when soul caliber 2 came out each console had their own exclusive character it wasn't a big deal because every console had an exclusive character xbox had spawn nintendo had link and then you know you had gihachi for playstation and, and what i'm saying is that's acceptable because at least ev everyone is fair to an exclusive character even in soul caliber 4 it was that way right playstation had playstation had i, I don't remember if it was Darth vader or or Yoda but it was one of the two and then eventually all both of them were attainable on both consoles after a short time and that was acceptable and those those kind of deals make sense to me and even the let's let's just say Dragon Quest 11 that's coming out for Game Pass on Xbox has been out on PC PlayStation and recently released on Switch the Switch version has specific things only the Switch version can have right like Nintendo related gear that makes sense because it's Nintendo owned by Nintendo even in Monster Hunter when there was Horizon Zero Dawn gear on the Monster Hunter game that makes sense that they get that kind of content because that's a Sony specific thing but when you look at Spider-Man it gets murky because Spider-Man technically doesn't belong to Sony he, he is licensed through them that's why this doesn't make sense to me it seems like a bad move for Square to do this kind of deal but I can again I'm not sure what this deal is or all the things behind it but in my opinion as a gamer consumer and a fan this is usually a bad move for all gamers who want to enjoy the same content let me know what you think down in the description Welcome about the this whole spider-man deal are you excited also for the PlayStation State of the play or how you feel about um the DualShock 4 not being able to be used on the PlayStation 5 games are you okay with that will you keep your PS4 controllers around and they they still did not answer can you use PS5 controllers on PlayStation 4 games there's still some questions that need to be answered well that's all for me guys don't forget to electrify the subscribe button and see you next time